In this video, we'll talk about Wallis product. The Wallis product for Pion 2 was published in 1656 by English mathematician John Wallis. You can see the product here and our task to calculate this product up to 20 factors. And uh, we don't have precise formula, in fact, for this particular product. However, if we want, for example, this product for even number of factors, then we can find precise formula for this. It's written here. And if we uh, want to know this product for odd number of factors, then we use another formula. Let me explain to you how these formulas uh, work. If we want even number of factors, then we split this product into pairs, the first and the second, the third and the fourth, and so on. And each pair is written under the product sign. And you see that in numerator there are the same even numbers. So indeed we have 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, and so on. And in the denominator in each pair we have one number which is smaller by 1 than the number in numerator and one number which is larger by 1 than this number. And indeed you can see this product in denominator here. If we need odd number of pairs then we take these two out of the product sign and we split now this product into pairs, uh, the second and third one the fourth one and fifth one and so on. And these pairs you can find under the product sign here. Uh, each such pair contains the same number, the same odd number in denominator. You see 335577. So you can see the odd number here squared. And each such pair contains in numerator the number which is one smaller than this number and one larger. So you can see uh, this product in numerator here. So uh, let's try to um, answer our question. So we need to write a sequence, so we need to write the product of just one factor, two factors, three factors and so on up to 20 factors. And the first that we will start with the um, products for even number of factors. And for even number of factors, we will use this formula and we use indices from 1 to 10. Because if we want 20 factors, we have 10 pairs, right? So the indices will be 1, 2, and so on until 10. And here we will type the uh, this term under the product. So this is two times the index, the index now on the left, squared, so we can write it as uh, 2j squared, over the product of two brackets, 2 times j minus 1 times 2 times j plus 1. So this is the result when we have when n is equal to 1 it means that when we have just one pair 2 1 and um, 2 over 1 times 2 over 3 which is 4 over 3 indeed this is this number and using autofill we can uh, fill all others cells so for example for n equals 2 we have two pairs it means we have four factors here and so on for n equals 10 we have uh, 20 factors, right? But these are only the numbers under the product. We also need to uh, multiply them. So let me write here that we have uh, two factors, four factors, six factors, and so on. So these are only even number of factors. And here we write this number. This is a product of just two factors, and here I want to get a product of four factors. I have to multiply this times this, right? And so on. Here I need the product of six factors, so I multiply the product of four factors times this number. So I can, in fact, autofill now everything. 
Okay, so we get, for example, the product of 20 factors is here. Right, and um, if we want to, let's say, write approximate value for pi in this case, because the product is pi and 2, the approximate value for pi will be this times 2. So these are values for pi. And next now calculate the uh, products for odd factors. For just one factor, we know that the product is just 2, right? So we just omit this case. If we want three factors, um, we will write this number here. But let me let me first write the indices. So let me forget about this. Let me write the indices. One, two, three. And if we want to have the product up to 10, so we have just, uh, for odd numbers, we have up to 9, the product up to 9. So for n equals 1, we get 2 times j, j is the index, times the bracket, 2 times j plus 2, and everything divided by 2 times j plus 1 and squared. Okay, and we can auto fill this. So these are only the numbers under the product, and next we need to find the product itself, right? So the product itself will be this number here, and next one will be this times this number, so the same as we did before. Okay, and so this is a product, for example, for of first nine term, except we, we forgot to multiply by two here, so we can um, say write two here, and we can maybe change it for make it a little bit different. So this one is equal to this number times this number. And out of field we get the result, approximate value for pi and 2. Again, we, if we want the value for pi, we need to multiply this by 2. And we get these values here. So this is for just one factor, three factors, and so on up to 19 factors. So for 19 factors, we have this product here. Now, for example, if we, if we want to have them um, subsequent, so first, second, third, and so on, what can we do in Excel? We can sort them. Let me show you how this can be done. So let's copy the indices somewhere, doesn't matter where. And the important thing, we have to copy just values, not the formulas, because here you can see the formulas, right? And the same for the values of our pi. And you see, Excel automatically copies the formulas, but we need only the values here. And the same for odd indices. Choose just the values and odd values for pi. Uh, okay, I forgot this four here. Right. So again, we need just values. So the values are here. And next, what can we do? We can choose all the cells. And going to this data, we can choose sort. And sort, we can choose the column. And we should choose A, because we want to sort by index, right? And press OK. So we get the sequence here. So this is for one factor, two factors, three factors, and so on. Of course, uh, in um, Excel, we can extend these numbers um, as soon as we have a memory, right? But of course, we cannot go to infinity here. And so we never get the final value of pi.